Hi, this is Lex and Ember, and we were thinking of playing around with a little different short format because we know our full videos are kind of long and, well, also it's the off-season for MLP. So we're playing around with lists of 10 things. These are 10 things in random order. They are not ranked, and they are purely our opinions. So no mobs with torches, please. And if you disagree with any of ours, please say it in the comments. Please share your own as well. Hello, I'm Lux. And this is Ember. And this is 10 things we think could be done to make Inuyasha better. Less episodes. Period. The show goes on forever. I know the manga goes on forever, but at some point you have to have an ending. And preferably before you get 8 or 9 seasons in. Probably around 3 seasons with at least 26 episodes each, which is what I would prefer. Keep Kikyo dead. She does not need to be brought back to life in order to have a love triangle. All it does is extend the series by giving Inuyasha two physical forms of the girl that he supposedly loves. Inuyasha goes back to modern times with Kagomi at the end of the series. There really isn't anything for him in the past. There are their three mutual friends who will miss them, but most likely will cheer them on to have a good life in the future. Make Naraku slash Onigumo a more interesting character. Most of what's interesting about Naraku is what we learn about Onigumo. Naraku just seems to be evil for the sake of being evil. Onigumo was a thief, he was obsessed with Kikyo, so there's a lot more that could be done, and I think we would see more if the Onigumo part of Naraku's amalgamation came through more clearly. Streamlining the show's plot. This goes back to making the show shorter. And you get less Monster of the Week and more about the characters reacting in the situation they are in because they are in some interesting situations. Sashomaru. Okay, I know there are some Sashomaru fangirls out there. But his sword should be more important to the final plot. I mean, it brings back the recently dead and the description is basically it can kill Naraku. Inuyasha doesn't need all those power upgrades. With a shortened plot, he could just live with the repair of his sword with his own tooth, which is an interesting plot point. Make Kagome more interesting. I mean, right now, the modern world part of her is basically every middle school anime girl studying for exams who also has to deal with something supernatural. The plus side for her is that her family actually knows what's going on, but back in ancient times, she's not exactly skilled. She should have some more skill progression across the series. I mean, she's basically a Shikon Jewel Compass who can sometimes shoot arrows. Rin needs to be more important to the plot. She should be the catalyst that brings the two brothers together in the main story. Considering it's probably the first nice thing that Sishomaru has ever done in his life, and Inuyasha, even when he's being a total jerk, is kindly inclined towards humans, especially children. And speaking of the brothers, that should be a real focus for the overall plot, since it seems to be one of the main things the father wanted to do or want to happen after he died. To bring the full demon and the half demon half brothers together so that they can be a family unit. The amount of work that would have to occur throughout the series for this to happen would make for a very interesting series and plot twist and would go back to our earlier point of making it more about the situational characters and less what demon do we kill this week. Thank you for listening. Hope you've enjoyed our list of 10 things we'd like to see changed in Inuyasha. Please subscribe, follow me on Tumblr, and watch me on DeviantArt. Thank you for listening and hope to speak with you soon.